Well, we've been talking about the speed of light so much. Isn't it about time you actually measured it? Ordinarily, light travels far too fast for us to be able to perceive it, or even detect it on most instruments. So instead, we're going to send light on a really long path and see how long that takes. We're going to take light from this laser, send it through this beam splitter, so that the laser is split in two directions. One of those beams is just going to loop back into the detector. The other beam we're going to send this way, past all these other fun demos that we're going to talk about in a different video. And back again, by measuring how long it takes to get to the far end and back multiple times, we can calculate the speed of light. We're going to start over here with our laser, shooting a beam of laser out. We're going to split that laser beam. Half of it's going to travel this way, and half this way. This laser, we're going to reflect right back. And catch it in a detector. This laser is going to go all the way across the room, bounce off a mirror, come all the way back, bounce off another mirror, go all the way across, bounce off a third mirror, and come all the way back where it hits a detector. This delay is going to be just long enough that we can measure the difference in time between the two signal detections. So if we know the distance of our two light paths, we can calculate how much farther one traveled than the other, and combining that with our delta t will give us c. We just need to measure l1, l2, l3, and l4. Our path for one is going to be l1 plus l2 plus L3. Our path for light beam number two is going to be L1 plus 4 times L4 plus another L1. That's the distance that it has to travel from here to here. This mirror is approximately in line with L1, as is L3. So this distance here is about another L1. So we can clearly see that the signals are basically identical, but one of them is delayed from the other. So if we zoom in on those minima, we can see a difference of 126 nanoseconds. Now I just have to measure the distance to the other mirrors. If we plug in our numbers, we find that Delta D is 35.2 meters. Our delta T is 126 nanoseconds. We end up with a speed of 2.79 times 10 to the eighth meters per second, which is about 7% off from the actual accepted value, 2.99 times 10 to the eighth. 